Okay guys, let's jump right in. Here we have the uh, Kylo Ren helmet and what I've done is I've taken a sanding knife to the left hand edge as you look at the helmet, cut a slit into it and then I've taken the Kanan Jairus head from the Star, Ball, uh, Star Wars Rebels figure and I've pretty much just cut off the left hand quarter, his eye and the top of his head. As you can see I've missed off, I've cut a bit off of that, uh, his head that, that has left a gap but I can fill that in with a bit of milliput and I've uh, gone in with a, a primer pen and then just super glued that to the inside using super glue and that was the starting point of the figure and that's what gave me the idea to do the, uh, di uh, the diorama the uh, Star Wars diorama which is coming next okay guys so I've already gone ahead and cut his arms off and I've also inserted some wooden blocks that are going to um, act as anchor points for the arms to glue back onto in the position that I want them to near the arms and as I said I've cut them off and they're going to sit back in there and glue into place like so and as you can see the way I'm doing this custom is that is missing his arm so the way I've glued these in is using a mixture of Gorilla glue, Gorilla wood glue and the UHU all purpose glue and they are solid as a rock in there and then I'm going to be using the same glue to glue the arms back on I've got a mixture of three different glues going on all together at the same time <laughs> so in the joints as I mentioned I used um, UHU glue and Gorilla glue to glue the wooden sticks into the arm and that's what the rest of the arm will be sticking to or is sticking to I should say and the way I've done that is again this time I've used super glue just to initially stick the wood to the plastic on either sides and then I've also gone in with some UHU glue to pack it out uh, around the wooden peg as well as some Gorilla Wood glue. Now I was having problems with it was all leaking out so what I've gone ahead and done is I've taped around it with some masking tape and because I've taken the hand off one to obviously his hand's been cut off the whole I've got a bit of glue on your fingers the whole inside of the arm is hollow so when I was pumping glue into his elbow here it was just running out and dripping out to the end so again I've taped off the end of his hand well hand stump so now I'm just going to wait for all this to uh, dry and I've already tried it it's hard it's solid already so I'm hoping with the mixture of the wood glue the UHU glue or purpose glue and the super glue this thing should be solid and then next Son his legs off and I'm going to be repositioning, repositioning them to either be on, down on one knee or down on both knees um, as, is, as, if, as if he's in pain and that his arm's just been cut off or hands just been cut off. So that's the next step to do the wooden pegs for his, for his knees, reposition the knee and then I'm also I'm going to be going in, yeah, into the elbows and I'll be going into the knee with some milliput. That's the next step. So using the same technique with the wooden pegs, I've attached the legs back onto the figure where he's in the kneeling position and I've gone ahead and used the UHU glue, the uh, super glue and the wood glue to glue it all together and I've also attached some masking tape just around the knee and around the back of the boot just to keep it into place while it dries. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the milliput and we're going to pack out his elbows and his knees uh, to fill in the gaps with the milliput and then mould it into the elbow and mould it into the shape of his knees.
So that's the milliport attached to the knees. And the trousers of the figure has a, a like a, a lined pattern. So what I've done is I've repeated that pattern onto the milliput using this just to gently score it in. Show how I made the main saber part of cut the Callowin lightsaber as well as the two side pieces. I'm going to show you how I got the flame effect and how I lit how I lit it up using LEDs. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make the body of the lightsaber, and then at the end, when I've gone through all this and told you how to do it, I'm going to show you how to do a quick cheat as well. If you don't want to go while we're going through all this to make the uh, lightsaber you can always do this little cheat that I found which is uh, a bit expensive, it's about £20 but it'll save, it, save you a lot of time but first I'm going to show you how I made the lightsaber from scratch so first you want to start off with oh, a clear straw that you can get from any shop or buy online and you need it to be clear so that the LED lights will shine through and then the next piece is obviously the red LEDs. So the LEDs you need for this project are the ones that come on the wire with no plastic sleeving covering the LEDs. So these are the two that I've got. This is actually one that will go in the top of a bottle and then lights sit inside the bottle as a display piece. And when I turn these on, they light up red. I'm not too, it doesn't matter about this on the end because uh, if you're displaying it on a base like I am, you can hide this underneath the base. So the first thing you want to do is to pull your LEDs out into a long straight line and get rid of any kinks in the wire that you might have. Try and get it to focus. You want to try and get any kinks out, any bends in the wire just so that why it doesn't end up snapping. See there, yeah, that's focus. No, I'm gonna focus. Come on, focus. Ah, there we go. So as you can see, there's a bend in the wire. I'm gonna try and get as many kinks out as you can to avoid the wire from snapping. So once you've got all the kinks out, the next thing you want to do is take the very end LED and then the second one in and you want to bend it. So that two LEDs sit together like so, with a little gap in between. And then you want to repeat the process every single one. I think my daughter's very comfortable now to go and get their bottle. But let's fold them so they all sit like so with a slight gap. And you want to make sure that the wire is very tightly bent and it's thin because this is going to be threaded into the clear tube or clear straw. Okay guys, that's my daughter now had her evening bottle, she's all tucked in for the night, so we can carry on. <laughs> so once you've folded all your LEDs together like so in a nice thin line, make sure your wire is all 
uh, bent um, nice and thin because this is going to be threading into there so because you've bent all your wires you might just want to check it still works which it does and then next step is to thread them into the straw And there you go, that's all your LEDs threaded in, and then switch it on, and there you go. Now I do have a quite a few left over because this is actually a little longer than this one. This is the same type that I used on the uh, actual lightsaber, but I'm just showing you this for demonstration purposes. So as you can see, there are, there are gaps, there's quite a big gap there. So you, it's just how you fold up the wire so that all the LEDs can fit in and the closer you get them obviously the more solid LED line that you're going to get um, so that is basically how you do the main body okay because the uh, sabers on the cross guards is thinner than the actual body of the lightsaber what you want to do is get another clear tube and cut it in half like so and then cut it to length of the cross guards and then once you've got the length of the cross guard what you want to do is cut another little sliver like so and then take some tape Roll the plastic tubing in until it's the thickness of the uh, cross guards and then tape it in place. Okay, so I've decided if I'm going to go ahead and show you and demonstrate how I made this, the, part, the saber part of the lightsaber, I might as well go ahead and make a whole one from scratch, just in case you don't actually have the uh, Kylo Ren's figure um, or the lightsaber from the figure. So this is a spool that's had some cotton on. And I'm going to be using this as the main body of the handle and I'm going to be doing the cross parts with the LEDs. So I've quickly assembled this and what we have is the clear tubing with the LED lights in and then I threaded the LED lights into the cotton spool and then I took an old pen and using a junior hacksaw I have sawn off two little bits and then with a Stanley knife cut a hole into the sides of the cotton spool and using super glue glued these into place. So next using another piece of clear tubing that I cut in half I'm going to make that thinner like so and thread the LEDs into the thin tubing and then glue that into place. I folded all the LEDs so I've got three on either side then I took like so and then the tubing goes over the top. The cross guard now done and the way I've done that is again using some of the clear straw I've wrapped it around the lights and then with some cellar tape taped it together to make it as thin and as snug around the LEDs as possible. I've also gone in with some black paint to paint the handguard and it's just gone midnight so I'm going to leave this to dry overnight and then I'm going to be going in with the clear silicon all over the sabre and the cross guards to give it the flame effect. So that'll be the next step in the morning. Unfortunately I didn't uh, film myself uh, putting the silicon onto the actual sabres or the cross guards but I'm going to show you how I did it using a wooden dowel which is going to substitute the clear straw but I um, just wanted to quickly go through how you want to, if you want to attempt this custom what you'll need to do is get a drill bit that fits into the bottom of the handle and drill through the handle. It's not solid all the way, there's two connectors 
that you just need to cut through. And now you can you can get a, a stabbing knife down the seam, um, take it all apart, and do it that way, and then cut it off, or you can use a jaw bit. Also, on the cross handles as well, they are solid inside. So again, I used a drill and I drilled through to make it hollow all the way through and then as you've seen I threaded the LEDs through the cross guard with the wire leading out the back and with the battery pack at the, back, at the bottom there I'll just turn the light off and as you can see it lights up and as you can see I do have gaps where I could have positioned the LEDs better but I think the effect is still good and then the best thing is as well if you press the battery pack actually makes the LEDs flicker if you're applying pressure onto the batteries and that just gives it looks like the flames are gives it the unstable look of the, of the little lightsaber So, as I mentioned, if um, if you're going to display this on a, on a base, which I am going to do, I'm doing a diorama, what you can do is, I'm going to have the hilt of the handguard, uh, the edge of the base, and then the wire is just going to run down the back, and the battery pack is going to fit underneath. Now, if you're going to fit the lightsaber into his hand, which I'm going to do on a, another custom, that's why I have two of them here. I'm doing two different versions of Kylo Ren figure. As you can see, he's missing his head, because that's part of this, the second custom. But if you are going to put this into his hand, like so, I'm not going to put it in, because it's a bit of a pain in your prize's hands. But what you can do is if you you can run the wire up at the back of his hand, he's on his arm, and I've actually got a bit of this wire coiled up inside the hilt because I didn't need it that long. If you had a bit longer you could then go it to the back to his back and then his cape would cover it. So as I mentioned I'm going to show you how I got the flame effect using this wooden dog because I've actually run out of straws why I would have showed you on that but it's a very, exactly the same <coughs> excuse me exactly the same procedure and what I'm going to be using is a lollipop stick I've got uh, a gun I'm going to squirt some clear silicon into a pot and I'm going to apply it using this lollipop stick and then I'm going to show you how I got the blend effect also I recently purchased this uh, Halloween white silver uh, which is one one size and um, so what I'm going to do is in an upcoming custom I'm going to get rid of these this actually extends out I'm going to be getting some clear tubing and I'm going to be adopting the same way that I did this 1-4 scale lightsaber I'm going to be applying the same technique onto this full size and I'm going to be using proper LED lights and Hopefully it should come out looking quite good. So let's carry on with this and I'll show you how I did the flame effect. So you want to get the clay silicon and just smear it all around. Like so. And then once you're happy that you've got a thick coating around the entire tubing, I 
I have a wipe off your lollipop stick or get a fresh one. And then what you simply want to do is using the flat bit of the lollipop stick, just press it against the clear silicon and start dabbing. You want to do that all the way around. And then at the top you move on to a little point for the saber. There's no pattern to it, be as random as you can. And then once you're happy, you can see that when you pull it away from the tube or in this case one dough, it gives it the flame effect and then what you want to do is leave that to dry and then to give it the added red effect Now you could leave it at that and let that dry and then the red LEDs would light, uh, shine through and it would give it the flame effect but just for the added red effect for the red sabre itself I went in with some glass art, clear translucent uh, red paint and painted all over the clear silicon like so And that just finishes off the red effect for the saber. And did the same on the cross guards. I'll just get the one with the battery in. And as you can see, the red glass paint. Just emphasizes the red LEDs. Uh, what I did find with this paint, obviously it's for glass or perspex, it's not really for silicon, you have to let it dry for at least 24 hours um, because otherwise it will flake off onto your fingers. So what I suggest is try to either lean it over the edge of your a desk or something to let it dry with obviously something underneath in case it drips. But if you place it down whilst it's drying, it'll just all peel off onto the surface that you've laid it on. And it does need a good 24 hours to adhere to the clear silicon. But once it is dry, it's going to come off. And that is the lightsaber, Kylo Ren's lightsaber done. And on to the base. was pretty simple. I got some timber as you can see and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it and cut it into uh, to size to make a rectangle. And then I've also got some clear black reflective plastic that I'm going to be using for the actual base itself and I think this does represent the uh, flooring on the uh, Empire's ships. After seeing the last Jedi, especially this, the uh, flooring in the ship is, is like a clear glass, and things plastic represents it quite well. So I'm going to cut the wood together, uh, so I cut it into shape, and size, and then glue it together and place the base on. That's the base done. Very easy. Cut two lengths of wood to size with the, with the ends, using some uh, Gorilla Wood glue, glue them together, and then glued the clear base and giving away all my secrets that was just a bit of card that's taped to the wall that my camera sits on hello uh, so yeah this is going to be the base Caliban's going to sit about here on his knees 
with his hand about here that's just been cut off and then the lightsaber is going to lie here obviously he was holding the lightsaber and it's fell to the ground uh, I went in with some black acrylic paint as well just to finish off the edges and then I'm going to try and get uh, a Star Wars decal and put it in the middle ok for you guys who follow me on Instagram you would have seen a couple of days or about a week ago I posted a, a picture of my um, story on Instagram saying I'm going to be doing the Gotham by Gaslight uh, Batman which is I'm going to be using this black Batman figure here which I use for quite a lot of my customs but I think this is going to be one of my best because I think that head is more, more or less identical to the Gotham Gaslight by Gaslight Batman with the cowl and everything but I'm not doing that custom yet so uh, the Kylo Ren in The Last Jedi, which is um, what this uh, custom diorama is going to be of. Still not seen the film, don't know if his hand gets chopped off or not. Uh, this is a, I would just say, prediction. Might come true, might, might not. But the cape that comes with the Batman uh, isn't suitable, but thankfully it fit perfect. On Kylo Ren because in the I've seen in the trailers and still photos Kylo Ren now has a cape a full on cape and this fit perfectly over his shoulders and i show you the joints now this one I came, that came out this one came out really well I was happy with this one but this one didn't come out as, as well as I wanted it to it looks like a bit deformed but luckily the way the cape sits, sits over the joint nicely and covers it up. And yeah, this cape fits perfectly and more or less identical to the one seen in the film. Also, at the beginning of the video, I touched uh, briefly on the uh, on his helmet. So this was the helmet before, and this is after. I went in with a uh, Stanley knife. And cut into the side of the helmet, and this is to represent either Ray or Luke slicing at the helmet with the lightsaber and taking a chunk out of it. And then, as you can see, going with some paint also to paint in his scar. And then at the top, I've gone in with some uh, Nilly Pot and a knife to try and emulate his hairline best as I can. And then went in with some turps, rubbed away the eyebrow that was on there, and I painted in the thinner eyebrow. And turned in it's a Star Wars Rebels head. Uh, it's come out quite well. Uh, super glued it in on the inside. I just put some tape in there as well to reinforce it. And then because I had to take this off uh, the figure to glue the face inside, what I've done is I've gone in and I've glued a bit of bundle onto the top of the neck, and then that just sits on top. So this is the Hot Toys Kylo Ren figure and the bit of material below his belt is a lot shorter than when he was uh, portrayed in the Force Awakens. So what I've done is I've taken off the material that was around his waist and I've cut it down and I'm going to reattach it so it's at the same length as, as it is plastered eye version of Calvin. That's that I'm going to glue it on using the UHU glue looking pretty much identical to the Hot Toys figure and I'm not going to zoom out because that's pretty much the figure done ready for the final reveal.